In a world where physical appearance is king, the desire for the perfect body has become an all-consuming obsession. According to the UK Anti-Doping Agency, there is an estimated 1 million people in the UK that are taking performance enhancing drugs to meet the standards of modern society. But what is the price of bulking up? Don't regret what I've done. I don't regret the health problems I have. Social media is selling us a lie. These people are on steroids. Well, for me, it's that underlying fact that we don't really know what people are taking. Join me, Robert Jones, as I delve into the world of anabolic steroids and uncover the true cost of chasing the ideal physique. You know, I mean, there's, there's no doubt my steroid use will be the death of me. There's no doubt about it. I'm shocked. I'm, I'm still going, to be quite frank. I expected to be dead for 50. That's Dave Crosland, who won the title of Britain's Biggest Biceps in 2016. Dave has been bodybuilding for over 30 years, and for the majority of this time has been using anabolic steroids, the most common type of performance-enhancing drugs. Dave's had a range of health issues that were directly linked to his usage, and these were revealed to him last year when he had a major shock. i quote you exactly what the cardiologist said to me after my heart attack, and his exact words were, your heart is extremely damaged. And there's no... No two ways about it. I did that to myself with the drugs I take. You know, you take you take four or five gram of gear and you walk around at plus 400 pounds. You've got to accept that's going to have an impact on your health. Experts at Priory Mental Health Services estimate around 500,000 people in the UK are addicted to anabolic steroids. So I wanted to speak to an expert myself to find out exactly what steroids are. This brought me to Manchester Metropolitan University to speak to the country's leading substance use researcher, James McVeigh. So James, what are anabolic steroids? Anabolic steroids are a set of hormones. Um, they're synthetic versions of the what we class as the male hormone testosterone. It will um, promote the male secondary characteristics, but of course the main reason that people tend to use anabolic steroids is for those anabolic properties, the muscle building capabilities. Mm -hmm. um, certainly from the research that I've been involved in, um, the, the main reason that people take anabolic steroids are to promote lean muscle mass. Uh, and that can be for a number of different reasons. It could be in relation to sporting performance or it could be uh, in, in relation to their overall appearance. And what are the risks of taking them? There's considerable risks. Um, it, it, it helps to think of them in different categories. You, you, you've got short-term uh, effects, increased musculature, um, changes to genitalia, increased body hair, acne, all those sort of things. Usually people will take that as an occupational hazard. But surely there's some long-term risks. We know from research in, in the United States that for those people using for prolonged periods of time, they will have increased uh, cardiovascular risk factors. We know that it causes changes to the brain, the structure and, and functioning of the brain, um, changes to memory, also um, increased uh, risk uh, of things like um, growing dependence on, on those uh, substances. According to the Public Health Institute, most steroid users start between the ages of 20 to 24. And we've seen a large rise in people taking the substance since the start of 2010, which also happens to be the same year that the popular photo sharing app Instagram was launched. This could just be a coincidence, but there's no doubt there's more pressure amongst young men to look muscular. So we're on our way now to meet 25 year old Sean Jones, who reached out to me to share his experience of what it's like being a young person feeling these pressures in the gym. I started going to the gym because I wanted to look like the guys that you see in the movies, you know, like, like Thor, really, really good physique. But after a while, I realised that a lot of these physiques you see are unrealistic and a lot of people are abusing steroids and not being quite honest about what they're actually doing. What we have seen over the last probably 20 years is an increase in people 
who are using who are younger without aspiration to become a bodybuilder who are just taking anabolic steroids for for their own satisfaction for their own um uh, body aesthetics he probably became aware of steroids at the age of about 17. i worked at a gym uh, and yeah. i i slowly started to become aware that steroids existed up to that point i was extremely naive um, and I believe that the pros look like that because they trained harder than me. And I didn't yeah. touch anabolics till I was 19. Going to the gym was obviously, you know, it takes a lot of time and you want to you wanna compare yourself to the people that are also there that you're training alongside and you see people either looking really good or lifting really heavy weight. And, you know, it is a comparison that you make. So... Upon realising after speaking to people and, and, and seeing articles online that people are actually abusing steroids and not quite being honest about that side of it, that it does it does make you feel conflicted that you want to compare yourself to the person next to you, but the person next to you has this unfair advantage. This pressure has led many young people to do dangerous things, and this is a big concern for Professor McVeigh. There was a young man who was um, taking what he thought uh, was an anabolic steroid and he found that his skin went brown um, and it turned out that he was taking lanotan, which is um, uh, an injectable tanning uh, uh, product and couldn't be much further away from testosterone. So uh, basically it gave him a nasty fright um, that was the extent of the harms, but it demonstrated, I suppose, the extreme potential for damage using substances from the illicit market. You have to remember that the anabolic steroids that are available either on the internet or within gyms are not manufactured in legitimate pharmaceutical laboratories. Nobody really knows what they're taking. I resisted taking steroids because I've got a young daughter at home and there are obviously massive risks to the abuse of steroids. You know, you can evidently see it uh, from, you know, professional bodybuilders dying extremely early to acne, to all these, all these very visible side effects. And then you don't even see what's happening inside your body. And I want to live like a long and healthy life to be able to support my daughter and, and see her grow up. So what's being done to discourage people from taking steroids? We reached out to the Fitness Industry Association to see what they're doing to educate and tackle this increasing problem. They did not respond. You drive cars fast and you crash, you've got to accept that crash is gonna be pretty nasty. People often say, well, would you do it again if you knew what was coming? And yeah, I probably would. I'm not, I'm, I'm not like a born again Christian sort of ex-smoker type approach mm. to it. I, I really have nothing against anabolic use. I don't regret what I've done. I don't regret the health problems I have. They were the price I paid for what I wanted to achieve and I'm happy yeah. with what I achieved and that's the cost that came with it.